Phil Fisiker's pet dog, Bo, is sitting on one end of a long, uniform plank that extends beyond the edge of the top of a building, indicated by the gray region. Bo has weight, W sub Bo, and the length of the plank is L. If the plank and Bo overhang too much, Bo is in trouble. Let's draw a fulcrum here at the edge of the building. That's the point about which the plank will rotate if it gets extended too far and tips over. Our question is, what maximum distance can the plank extend from the edge of the building? That is, from the fulcrum. Here's where the concept of torque and center of gravity come in. The weight of the plank acts as if it's concentrated at the plank's center of gravity. When the plank is at its maximum safe overhang distance, the torque due to the weight of bow just balances out the torque due to the weight of the plank. Here the Greek letter tau stands for torque. We see that bow is at a distance x to the left of the fulcrum. The center of gravity of the plank is at its midpoint, distance L over 2 from the left edge of the plank, which means that it's at a distance L over 2 minus x from the fulcrum. Equating torques, the weight of bow times distance x will equal the weight of the plank at a center of gravity times the distance L over 2 minus x. Doing a bit of math. We see that bow can safely overhang the building's edge A distance equal to the plank's weight divided by the sum of the two weights times L over 2. Beyond this distance, toppling occurs. To make better sense of this, let's suppose the weights of bow and the plank were the same. Then we'd see that the equal weights of the board and bow ought to be equal distances from the fulcrum, like twins on a seesaw. Equal distances would put the fulcrum midway between bow and the plank's center of gravity. That's a distance one quarter the length of the plank, distance L over 4. Let's consider another plank and torque problem. Again, a heavy plank rests on the top of a building. Nellie Newton stands at the edge of the plank of length L that extends from the top of the building as shown. We assume that the maximum distance of overhang for tipping cannot occur beyond one-eighth the length of the plank. Nellie's weight is W sub n, and the weight of the plank, centered at its center of gravity, is W sub PL. Question, how does Nellie's weight compare with the weight of the plank? Again, the edge of the building acts as the fulcrum about which tipping can occur. When the plank is at its maximum safe overhang distance, the torque due to Nellie's weight just balances the torque due to the plank's weight. So how far is the plank's center of gravity from the edge of the building? It's L over 2 from Nellie. So the distance is, some arithmetic here, L over 2 minus L over 8, to be 3L over 8. So our dimensions are shown. And setting the torque due to Nellie's weight equal to the opposite torque due to the weight of the plank, we see that Nellie's weight is three times the weight of the plank. Notice that I underestimated the length of the vector for Nellie's weight in my sketch. Looking backward, it should be three times the length of the vector for the plank's weight. Yum stuff? I want to leave you with a question. If you balance a horizontal meter stick on a finger, you'll place your finger at the 50 centimeter mark. But suppose you balance two meter sticks 
one attached by tape to the end of the other and hanging vertically as shown. For the two meter stick combination, at what centimeter mark of the horizontal meter stick should you place your finger? Think about that. Until next time, good energy. Mm -hmm.